Welcome back, this is the Amateur Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Suicidal Burning Paris. I like started, I, I hit play, and I didn't even like think about recording. I was still in my like pre recording, you know, plan out what you're gonna talk about kind of thing, and uh, I just I hit, I hit play and it was uh, it was already gone. It was, uh, and I was like, alright, I have to like start recording. <laughs> So, hello, hello, how are you guys? I've, uh, I've, I've realized something today. I got a couple of topics to talk about today, actually, but I, uh, I realized something. Something kind of, uh, some kind of nifty, some kind of neat. This is episode 494, and the date today is the 22nd. Tomorrow, the 23rd, we'll have 496. The 24th, we'll have 498, and the 25th, Christmas Day, will be episode 500. It's kind of a, a neat coincidence, I think. I didn't plan it to be like that. I don't know if I would have been able to even plan it. Um, it just kind of happened to work out that way. I just realized it while I was uh, in the bathroom this morning. And I was like, wait a minute. I go record episode 494 today. That's, that's you know, four days remaining of, uh, of KF2. Four days of... Uh, uh, till Christmas, and it's like, huh. It's kind of a, a neat little coincidence. Episode 500 is coming up on uh, Christmas Day. I don't know what I'm going to do for episode 500. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. Um, if anything, I'm probably going to make it a shorter episode because it's going to be Christmas Day and I'm not going to want to um, record too much. The, uh, the alternative to that is it'll be Christmas Day and I'll have a lot to talk about and I'll really want to record and I'll do Endless. So, you know, it can go either way. It can go either way, but uh, episode 500 is coming up. That's a big milestone, right? 500 episodes. It's incredible. Halfway to a thousand. A thousand was always my goal when I started doing this. I don't know why. It's just a big number, you know? It's a nice, uh, pretty number to look at. So a thousand was always kind of my goal, and I'm halfway there. I will be in a few days. Christmas Day will be episode 500, halfway to my long-term goal. Coming up on a year of KF2 uh, content. A year! In uh, just a few more months here. It'll have been it'll have been a year since I started recording KF2. Incredible. Incredible. Haven't had the, the growth that I necessarily expected. <laughs> but... It's okay. I'm having, a, I'm having a blast. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I think you guys are having fun too. And I mean, that's what matters in the end, right? It's not, uh, you know, I, I want to make it my job because I love doing it. And if it doesn't turn into my job, well, I still love doing it, you know? I'm still happy here. I'm still uh, having a great time. And uh, I'm super, super, super pleased to, uh, to be making it to episode 500 soon. It's, incre it's an incredible milestone for me. It's something I wouldn't have thought I was capable of, honestly, before I started this. It's been it's been such a, a life changing experience, but I will go into the the specifics of how uh, this has impacted my life maybe a bit more in uh, a later episode perhaps. But it's been uh, it's been such a huge part of my life ever since I started doing it, and I never would have expected that 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 would happen when when I decided to just record you know a, a video of me killing stuff. You know, a couple, a couple videos of me killing stuff as a medic. You know, I never, I never would have expected it to be uh, what it is today for me, and uh, I'm super, super pleased with that. But we'll, uh, we'll go into more of the emotional stuff on episode 500, I'm sure. For today, I have a, uh, a more frustrating topic to talk about. So I told you uh, recently that I've been kind of uh, fixated on like romance manga, right? Well. I have been, and I still am, and I've read a few that are uh, that are nice. I have a uh, perhaps unhealthy <laughs> interest in uh, in manga, where uh, you have like men in power, and then the women who fall for them. I don't know why, because it's it's like I think about it for myself, and I'm you you in in the moment, you know, you're kind of like it's so cute. I wish I could be like that, and then you kind of think about it logically, and you're like, no, I'm pretty sure she was just kidnapped, and like raped, and she has Stockholm syndrome. But when you're reading it, you're just like, it's so cute, though, you know. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know why I like it, but uh, those 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 kinds of manga they they uh, they do get me. And uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's not a relationship I'd ever want to have in my life. You know what I mean? But in uh, in fantasy, it's uh, just very. I don't know. I, I like it. I don't know why. But that's not what we're talking about today. No, no, no. We're talking about like you know the exact opposite here. So. There's a, a specific genre of uh, of teen romance manga where you have popular guy and not so popular girl. And the popular guy is, you know, inheriting some business or something and, you know, he's uh, going to be a CEO of a company and um, he's going to have all these responsibilities and then he's... Uh, like trying to tease the girl or whatever and then he falls in love with her and then they have this like back and forth for like forever and it never ends up like doing anything and uh then uh eventually they get to the point you know where where, where you're like okay cool like you know something's finally starting to happen you know People, people are finally starting to get sick of their nonsense and, and starting to call them on it, and they're starting to make, you know, steps in the right direction. And then uh, the popular guy's dad comes in and is like, "Yeah, so if you're gonna be taking over the business, we're gonna have to go to America for two years, and you're gonna have to study over there." And then he's like, "Well, crap, I don't want to like have her be stuck here for two years without me." And then you have like this drama that just really doesn't have a place, in my opinion. And then. Uh, You know, he ends up avoiding her, and it causes all this drama. I haven't read past it, but I, what I imagine is going to happen, what usually ends up happening is she ends up finding somebody else, he goes away, they come back, and then, you know, she's broken up, and she's sad, and he's like, I'm so sorry for leaving you, and then they end up being together happily ever after, and it ends with them just, like, holding hands or something stupid. I've read this very same manga by a different name, with different named characters and slightly different art. I've read the exact same thing like 18 times. I don't know why I always fall for it. But I always do, you know, I always do. I always start reading it and I'm like, it's kinda cute. Oh, I like it. It's kinda cute. And then, and then I start, it's like, you know, chapter 20, chapter 25 maybe, of like, typically these manga have 60 to 70 chapters, typically. Um, so, so typically like, you know, about a third of the way through the manga. I'll, uh, I'll notice that, wait a minute, this is garbage, <laughs> but I'll be too committed, it's the sunk cost fallacy, you know? So that's what I'm at right now with the manga that I'm reading, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but, uh, uh I've, uh, I, I, it, it, it got to the point where, um, he was about to, like, confess his feelings, and then he was like, oh right, I have to go to America, so I'm not going to do that, and I was just like, you know, I just... It's time for me to go record. <laughs> it's time for me to go just take my mind off this because I'm gonna get really mad at this if uh, if it continues. So that's what I've been uh, concerned with primarily here. Yep, we do. You know what else? We have a dead flesh pound. Rah. Just spray and pray, it doesn't matter. We do actually have uh, a scrake. So we do kind of have to be a little bit concerned with ammunition, I guess. Somewhat. <laughs> Not really, though. The scrake's fine. Does this, the scrake should be too tall for this, right? Like, your head will just go right through it? Yeah. Yes. That, oh, there's another scrake. Is there another scrake? No. There is another Scrake! Oh, I did waste too much ammo. I thought there was only one. But there were three! Oh, we're going up this way. <sighs> yeah, I'm just frustrated, because it's, uh, it's just annoying. I just want... I've read, I've read so many romance manga. So many. It's really hard to start like finding ones that I haven't read. 
Like, genuinely, just, just finding a romance manga that I haven't read is, is like, a challenge <laughs> at this point. I end up, like, scrolling through all of the lists and the recommendations and, like, you know, searching and, and stuff. Finding translated romance manga that I haven't read yet. Very challenging. Very, very challenging. So, when I do end up finding one, I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, this one's good. I like this, you know? And then, uh, it disappoints me. It disappoints me. Falls into the same cliches, and I'm mad at it. It's just garbage, you know? I'm gonna finish reading it, but I'm not gonna like it. There was one that I couldn't finish reading, actually. One that, uh, one that kind of followed this. They went full on with the, you know, he didn't want to, uh, like, hurt her kind of thing. So he ended up, like, moving, and then they time skipped, like, seven years or something. <laughs> and uh, he's dating somebody and completely unhappy, and she's still kind of, like, stalking him, but dating somebody else. And uh, he just, like, completely throws her off. And I'm like, yeah, this, this manga's just gonna end with him, like, actually killing himself. Like, that's that's the only way I see this going forward. You can't redeem this. It's it's just absolute garbage. But it was really cute up until they time-skipped for, like, seven years. They, they, they were like, you know, we're gonna be going away for, like, two years. But, you know, we're gonna stay together. We're gonna be talking. We're gonna be going to visit and blah, 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 blah. And then it's just, like, seven years later... I'm like bawling my eyes out at this point, just like it was so cute and so emotional and <laughs> they just time skip seven years and it's all just destroyed and I'm like, yeah, so not interested anymore. <laughs> I am not at all interested. I never ended up finishing it. I don't even remember what the name of it is. I'll probably end up falling for it again. But that one really annoyed me. And it's like, you know, you, you can do, because, um, there are manga that have that sort of, like, the unpopular girl meets the the rich, you know, dude. You, you can do that and have it work well. You know? Like, like, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Let me see if I can find it. It should be in my, in my phone somewhere. My library. I'm scrolling. I read Beauty and the Beast Girl last night, which is like a, a lesbian story. It's like highly fan servicey, but it was kind of cute, I guess. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think here. Scrolling, I think I have it in my library. Yeah, LDK. That's kind of a similar thing, although I think she was a popular girl at the same time. Just didn't find uh, him interesting or something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember how it started. It was a while ago that I read it. But that's that's kind of a similar thing, you know, with um, the rich guy and having the you know we're gonna have to move to America and stuff. But they uh, they pulled it off well. It was a, it was an enjoyable read. I mean, it's not over yet. I don't. Well, the the raws are just uh, not the the translated stuff. I haven't read it the 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 raws yet. Gotta get around to that, but uh, it's just like the, the, I think I think I tried, but the writing was just too messy for me to understand it or something. So I, can open the I can't remember. There was there was a reason I couldn't read the Raws though. Maybe they used words that I didn't know. <laughs> too many. I can I can read some, but my uh, my vocabulary is not super great, and my grammar, my understanding of the grammar is not perfect. My my understanding of the like I don't have like kanji at all like. I'm not great at reading Raws, but uh, I can do it. Just not great at it. Um, regardless, like that one, you, you, they, they pulled it off great, I think. Very, very cute. I liked it a lot. Um, it's just they don't usually pull it off well. They usually do it terribly, and that's what's happening to me right now. And it's just so disappointing when you've, like, invested so much time into, like... You know, these characters, and then the author is just like, oh, by the way, what if we took this and just made it garbage? You know? I'm like, how about you don't? <laughs> how, how about you uh, you don't do that? You know, how about, how about we, uh, instead of making it garbage, how about if you just, like, naturally brought it to its climax here, you know? That'd be a lot better. 
I got my, uh... My lips are, like, really chapping right now. It's really annoying. Just, like, um... Come on, dude. Don't let me die because my lips were gross. It's just... It's annoying. It's annoying is all. It's just annoying. I'll move on. I'll move on. I'll, I'll finish this tonight, probably. I, like, I have to imagine it's gonna end like there'll be a happy ending. Rarely is there not. Probably what happens is, uh, you know, they end up... It'll, it'll probably be the same thing as every other thing, you know? They'll end up getting together and he'll be like, I have to go to America. And she'll be like, I want you to pursue your dreams. And he'll be like, but I don't want to leave you. And she'll be like, I'll be okay. We can still talk and I'll come visit you on occasion. And you're rich, so you can come visit me. And then, um, you know, there'll be a time skip and he'll come back and... We might see a marriage, but it'll probably just end with uh, them hugging or something. They, they could make it even worse. They could do it even worse, okay? They could just make it so that, like, they get together and it just ends with, like, them holding hands. I have read an enormous amount of romance manga that end with just the characters, like, holding hands. And and honestly, that's that's probably what this one's going. When, when, when a manga's holding off on, like, even holding hands for that long... Like, I don't know what it is, but in, in, uh, in Japanese, uh, like, media that, that I've read, anyway, I mean, I guess, limit it more, in, in anime and, and manga and a couple of the, the dramas that I've, I've seen, um, I, I don't know if it's, if it's, like, a cultural thing or if it's, like, just the, the demographics of the people who were, like, watching this stuff and making this stuff. But there is such a weird, like, importance placed on things that I just don't personally value, like hand holding. Like, like I've I've read too many manga where the end of it is literally just them holding hands, and it's just a picture of their like hands with the interlocked fingers, you know. And I'm like, that's not even. That's that's barely even like step one in your relationship you know like that's not that's not you know solidifying their future or anything that's just yes they, they got together okay you did now they hold hands on occasion yes that that that's that's how this works we, we got that but that's like the climax you know that's the moment that all like this this was building up to and i'm like that's just i don't know i don't know if it's like uh if like you know japanese people put that much more importance on I don't know, like PDAs, you know, hand holding, like intimacy, like I, I, I don't know, uh, or if it's just uh, the kinds of people who are watching and, and making uh, this kinds of content, just just uh, happen to be people who have never been in a relationship before. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it it sometimes weirds me out a lot. That's why I really like Tori Mia, because um, I mean they got at it quick. They don't. They don't put much importance on holding hands. I mean, they, I think they do on occasion, like the the characters do, but they don't like glorify it. Cause like, why would you glorify it? It's just hand holding. Like, it's not a thing that matters. Um, but the characters just like confess to each other like pretty early on, have a relationship, and and like the the the, the story is just about you know them in a relationship. And I, I, I really, really, really loved that. So it was a nice breath of fresh air. I ultimately love uh, any story, any manga, or anything that that takes a more, I would say, realistic approach to uh, to relationships. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty straightforward person myself. If I like somebody, I'm just gonna tell you, okay? If I'm, in, if I'm interested, like you're getting asked out on a date, all right? Like it's just the way that it goes. Because, uh, I mean, what's, what's the worst that happens? You're going to say no? Okay. How about we go out anyway? <laughs> Doesn't have to be a date. Let's just go have fun. Um, but, uh... No. But it's, it's like, they just beat around the bushes so much, and it's just frustrating. Like, some people find it, like, cute or whatever. I just find it frustrating. And, uh... You know, even after they're in a relationship, they're like still getting awkward about like holding hands or touching hands or something 
I'm like, it's just... Like, like, they're awkward about hugging and stuff, and I'm like, I just, I don't. I, I uh, I'm, I'm a much more straightforward individual myself. You know? I don't, uh, I don't really care for all those, like, oh my god, really? I don't really care so much for, for all those games, you know? So reading about it isn't necessarily a super exciting thing. Again, it's it's kind of about that uh, relatability, you know. Like I, I like reading stuff that I can relate to, which is why I like uh, adult romances a lot more. Adult romances tend to also be a lot more realistic, I find, at least for me. But maybe that's just because uh, it's been a long time since I was uh, in high school. I mean, even even back when I was in high school, um, you know, I didn't know what I wanted. You know, back then I uh, I didn't know that I was trans yet. Um, I thought I was, well, I, th I thought I was into to girls, and, uh, you know, I dated him, but, like, even back then, it was, like, I don't know, I didn't really have troubles when I liked somebody with, like, just asking them out, <laughs> you know what I mean? There weren't too many people that I liked, but, like, when, when I had somebody I liked, like, it wasn't hard for me to just, like, tell them, you know? They typically said, uh, I mean, they, actually, they typically said yes, but, um, I guess I just, I don't, uh, I never, I never had that experience, I guess, of, uh, of being, like, nervous and, like, scared and so worked up about it. Like, it was always just, like, a normal thing for me. The first time I held hands, or the first time I kissed, yeah, it, w it was an exciting experience, I guess, but, like... It was. It wasn't that big a deal. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't this huge thing that has to be the climax of an entire story. You know, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider that the climax of uh, of any of my relationships. But uh, for some reason, it just it is in uh, in manga a lot of the times, and it, it annoys me because I expect it to be like. A proper happy ending with you know maybe a time skip to the future when they're getting married or you know moving in together or something like that and it's just it ends with hand holding and I'm like really <laughs> really anyway that's good to have today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you next time bye bye